Aloha, welcome to Keys to Success, which is live on the Think Tech live streaming network series weekly <coughs> on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We are your hosts. I'm Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome to the show. Mahalo for joining us today. You can catch us live on stream at livestream.com on the thinktechhawaii.com channel. We also encourage you to call our hotline at 415-871-2474 to join our conversation or tweet us at thinktechhi if you have any questions or comments. The goal of our weekly show, Keys to Success, is to provide professional and personal development tools and profound insights on how to achieve success in life, career and or business. Gladys Quinto Marone, CEO of BIA Hawaii, was our guest on our last show and her words of wisdom with regards to her keys to success can be found on both Newman Consulting Services website, newmanconsultingservices.com or on our landing page at denilia.org. Our theme for today is From Rags to Riches. Commitment and hard work can lead to success. Joining us today in the studio is our honored guest, Salvatore Sobrera, an accomplished entrepreneur and vice president of Digital Alarm Technology, also known as DAT or DAT. Prior to working with DAT, Sal started a distributorship with Kirby, correct? In yep. 1984. Uh, doing his stench with Kirby, you became the vice president, a uh, regional vice president, from 2003 to 2010. Is that correct? Yes. All right. During that time, his team uh, became the top 1% distributorships in more than 60 countries worldwide. After being coached out of retirement in 2011, how, how hard was it that they made you come out of the, well, I forget you, to come back, Sal? I thought it was easy, but it was hard. <laughs> okay. All right. He, he started the Alarm Smart Home Security Company known as Digital Alarm Technology. Mahalo for joining us today, Sal. Oh, thank you. I'm honored to be here. Okay. Please share with our viewers uh, what prompted you to start the business. Which one? <laughs> you decide which one you want to tell well, us Kirby? About. Well, I moved here in 1978 okay. be, to change the environment that I was in. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to go as far away from New York, but still be in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> so I landed here in Hawaii. And I where else to, would it be but Hawaii, yeah. right? <laughs> and I had a couple of cousins that lived here. Oh, and, okay. And one of them lived at the Marco Polo. Oh, so okay. when I arrived here, I slept on his living room floor. Uh -huh because there was another cousin sleeping in the second bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's family for you, yeah. right? Okay. And I bounced around for like, uh, till, till 1984, and I found myself with no, no money. Mm -hmm. I was down to my last $75 in my pocket, <laughs> and I get a call from this man, Pete War Warchester, who had the Kirby distributorship. Uh -huh. And he had run into me a few times, and, and, and called me over to come and look at the Kirby opportunity. And I saw that it was selling vacuum cleaners door to door. <laughs> and I said, no, I don't think I want to do this. <laughs> so I left and two weeks later, the man calls me back and he says, I got the president coming into town with the supervisor and he'd like to meet with you. So I got my cousin Ernie, who then became my partner. And we went and we sat out at the Royal Hawaiian and you know, they wined and dined us, mm -hmm. and it was beautiful outside, and told us if you do this and do this and do that, you could have your own Kirby distributorship. Wow. So when you're broke and you're desperate, <laughs> you, go you do it. a lot of things like <laughs> selling vacuums door to door. <laughs> there you All go. Right. Well done. So I'm sure you had uh, several people who told you you were wasting your time or you shouldn't pursue that opportunity or you need to do something else or you need to come back home to New York. How did you handle that? Yeah, we call them dream stealers. Right. Absolutely. There's always people looking to steal your dreams. Yeah. 
but my, my parents would give me money to fly back and live on the East Coast, yeah. but they wouldn't give me money to stay here. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and it's not because they didn't love me, and uh -huh. it's not because all of my friends told me that I was crazy, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's not because they didn't like me, it's just that they couldn't see it for themselves, right. uh -huh. so they couldn't see it for me. Yeah. But I had to live my dream, not their dream. Uh -huh. So, and then I just dug in and went, went to work and mm -hmm. did what they said. And what they said and the quotas that they gave us seemed impossible at the time, mm -hmm. but we reached a quota in one month. Wow. wow. Which well, shocked them. Right, mm -hmm. right. And they said, would you mind staying under Pete for another two months because mm -hmm. he's in a contest to win the Thunderbird? Uh -huh. oh. I says, giving me this opportunity, I have no problem. Right. Oh, I right. says, so I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Did you imagine yourself becoming successful uh, in business? Well, you know, when I was given this opportunity, I, I, I just made a commitment that I was in it to win it. Okay. You know, and, and I was going to do whatever it took to become successful. I always wanted to have a life where when I went to a restaurant, I didn't have to look at the price mm -hmm. of a dinner. Mm -hmm. I, if, if I liked it and I wanted it, I didn't care what the price was. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be able to travel all over the world. At that time, at 42 years old, the only place I've ever been to was Florida and Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And since joining Kirby, mm -hmm. I was all over the world. Mm -hmm. oh, Europe, wonderful. down mm -hmm. down to your country. Mm -hmm. I used to go That's four right. times Aussie. a year. Yeah. Oh, I love Australia. Okay. Isn't, it, isn't it interesting how, um, you know, we felt the same way about our business was that you're, you're in it to win it and you're going to do whatever, you have to be committed to do whatever it takes. Yes. Because you, you have to understand it is a challenge to have a business and oh, anybody yes. who owns a business knows that. However, you've got to keep going. And you got to make sacrifices. Yes, make so sacrifices. So, any time during your journey, and I mean, any time during your journey, did you ever feel that you uh, would make it? And how did you overcome those thoughts? You know, I I, I, I couldn't entertain that. There you I, go. I, 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 you know, I just knew that I would yeah. make it. Of course, if it's to be, it's up to me. Yeah, All right. yeah I, I like that. That's Failure a is not a yeah. tweetable <laughs> quote. Failure is not an option. There you Another go. tweetable oh, quote. I like that. <laughs> so what you're saying is that don't ever have negative thoughts. Never. Right. Never. Okay. Me, I think positive all the time. Uh -huh. That's that great. There's power in a positive mental attitude. Yes, absolutely. Okay. You come into my office, there's, there, there, there's a sign that's about this big and about as long as this wall, and it says attitude is everything. Yeah. I and love you it. walk into that office, <clears> you know that. It's interesting because in our office, we have one exactly very similar. Attitude determines altitude. Yep, <laughs> so not your you, aptitude. There That's you go. Right. So we have okay. that in our office too. Yeah. What kept you up at night, Sal? If anything. I know you were positive, but uh, even... Counting, in the, even counting money. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a nice feeling? Would, would you say that again? <laughs> Counting money. <laughs> well, what mistakes did you make on your path to success? Well, there was a lot of them, but to me, failure is the best teacher. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there, there, there's a lot of people, they fail and they stop because they fail, yeah. because they felt that they didn't learn anything right. from that. But I was always, always thought that, that you know, Failure was the best teacher. You know, a losing experience is never a losing experience as long as it's a learning experience. Mm. Okay. Another tweetable so, comment. <laughs> and then uh, uh, the, the young man that, that created the light bulb, what was his name? Edison. Yeah, Thomas Edison. Edison. Thomas Edison said, I never fail. I just found ways that it didn't work. Yeah, exactly. Right. And that's, right. that's what I hear you say. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Okay. What do you feel was the biggest factor that helped you to be successful? Surrounding myself with the right people. Mm -hmm. My cousin was my partner, and, 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 and we had great people that, that came up through my organization. Mm -hmm. Mike Lowry, Nathan Chesmore, mm -hmm. Dave Houlihan, Kalani. I mean, I could go on and mm -hmm. on. We had great secretaries, mm -hmm. uh, you know, j just just a great bunch bunch of people. Two of them, two of them actually quit and was walking down the road, 
And I went and grabbed them back because I saw something in them that they didn't see in themselves. Mm -hmm. And okay. turned out and went on to become champions. Wow. That's the same wonderful. thing with Nathan. Mm -hmm. Nathan went to work for a furniture company mm -hmm. and I called his mother. I says, Nathan never, never came in. She says, mm -hmm. oh, he got another job. Mm -hmm. I wow. talked him back into coming in and mm -hmm. he did bigger business than I did. Wow. That's wonderful. Isn't that something? So you really mirrored and modeled yeah. successful yeah. people. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You, you, you see people as they could be, not as they are. Yeah. Because okay. if you see them as they are, they'll stay as they are. And you know, and that, that is um, a quality of a true leader, is mm -hmm. to help others. As you are growing, you help others and bring them along with you. Because sometimes they can't, they don't see it in themselves. That's so true. That happened to me too. I uh, mean, you know, somebody did that to me. So. Uh, they, they called you back. Yeah, and said, yeah. Hey. I was about to, to resign from the, uh, when we first came to the States, I was about to resign from the job and the owner said, Look, I see tremendous potential in you. What are you thinking? You know, I'll teach you how to be successful. And there you go. In one of yeah. the motivational seminars that we went to, uh, an old timer, Zig Ziglar, he would say, help as many people be successful as you can, and you will always be successful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Help enough people get, get, get what they want, and you'll you get what you want. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things I know that you brought with you, you brought with yourself, uh, with you some, um, some quotes. Paper, some quotes. Some Would you like to maybe talk about one or two of those quotes? Share with our viewers and yes. listeners? Yeah, well, uh, you know, to me, the more you learn, the more you earn. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's another tweet of a quote. <laughs> Go for it, sir. It's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than have an opportunity and not be prepared. Yes, All right. so true. Okay. And, and one of my favorites is life gets better when you get better. All oh, right. yeah. yes. Your life's not getting better until you, you get better. Now, I belong to the Honolulu Club, uh -huh. and, and there's a lot of professional people in there. Yeah. And come, come January... And, and going back into the club, I hear mm -hmm. people saying, well, I hope this year is better than last year. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to myself, buddy, this year ain't going to be no better than last year <laughs> unless you get better. Yeah, yeah. that's so Thank true. So that's, that's so true. That's, uh, it was interesting because, um, you know, we teach seminars. And uh, I, I was teaching a seminar to a group of like a thousand people. And it was business owners. And um, we were talking about... Uh, December not it, this was a few years ago but we're talking about December and a lot of business owners said oh my business really suffered in December they weren't in in uh, retail or anything it was a different type of business um, healthcare and oh my business you know it, it, your pa patients go away and this and that and you know they're on vacation and I said is there anybody here who had a great December and there was one doctor who put up his hand and I said come up here so he came up and I said now tell us why you had a great December. He said nobody told me it was supposed to be a bad month. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Isn't that That's great? Positive. I oh, thought, yeah. oh my that gosh, you know, so because right we on. listen to other people complaining, complaining, oh, they'll complaining. They steal your dreams. They yeah. steal your dreams. That's and we, exactly we also right. we also That's share with good. them. That's good. I like that. Hey, yeah. And we share with them. You know, if you want things to change. You have you to need, change. You need to. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That, yeah. that, that. That. If I didn't change the way I thought. I'd still be in New York. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> really? That's true. You, you change your yeah. thinking, you change your life. So you true. You want to change it to the positive. So right. true. You know, people see me and they say, how can you be positive all, all, all the time? Why mm -hmm. not? Mm -hmm. that's, oh, yes. that's, that's a choice that I make. Mm -hmm. and, and I used to say, oh, that guy makes mm -hmm. me mad. And I, I, I don't say that no more. Mm -hmm. Why should I give somebody the right to make me mad? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank I'm, you. I'm a, a, That's absolutely. Wonderful. Nothing you can do is going to make, make me That's mad. That's right. And All don't right. get into it. Just mm -hmm. understand that you have the choice to leave that situation. Yep. You have the choice. Don't blame somebody else for it. Exactly. All right. Okay. So we're going to take a short break. This is Keys to Success on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We're talking with Sal Sabera. Regarding our theme today, from rags to riches, commitment and hard work can lead to success. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. We'll be returning in a minute, so please stay tuned for more Keys to Success. Aloha, it's summertime in Honolulu, Hawaii. My name is Stephen Philip Katz. I'm your host for Shrink Wrap Hawaii. We're on every Tuesday at three o'clock and we talk about mental health and general health. Join us, thank you. 
Hi, my name is Kim Lau, and I'm the host of Hawaii Rising. You can watch me live every other Monday at 4 p.m. Aloha. Aloha. I'm Richard Emery, host of Condo Insider, a weekly Thursday show at 3 o'clock that goes all summer long talking about issues living in a condo association. Each week we bring experts to talk about the rights and obligations of owners and boards of directors to successfully run their condominium. It's a great educational show, answers a lot of questions. We hope you'll visit us sometime. Aloha. Welcome back. This is Keys to Success on the Think Tech Live Streaming Network series. We encourage you to call our hotline at 415-871-2474 to join our conversation or tweet us at ThinkTechHI if you have any questions or comments. We've been talking with Sal Sabera about our theme today, From Rags to Riches, Commitment and Hard Work Can Lead to Success. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome back. So, are you ready for this bombard ship of questions sure. we're going to give to you? <laughs> this so, is great okay. stuff. <laughs> All right. Share with us your top three success habits, if you will. Oh, uh, you got to have discipline in your life, for sure. One. Getting up early. Mm -hmm. Two. And never, never missing a day's work. Mm -hmm. Three. And being the, being the example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Can you expound on those now? Yeah, well, you know... In the tr from 1984 to when I left Kirby in 2010, I never ever missed one day of work. Mm. All right. I was there every single morning in my office at six o'clock every single mm -hmm. morning. There was even a day when I was 58 years old, I had to go to Kaiser and get a hernia operation mm -hmm. and, and, and put a stainless steel mesh screen in. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, and I said, I got to run my meeting first. Mm -hmm. I went to the office, ran the meeting, mm -hmm. went to Kaiser, got operated on. Six o'clock at night, I got out of Kaiser. Mm -hmm. I struggled to get home. Yeah. And next morning, I limped into work yeah. just to be the example. Yeah. You know, you get people, they get a little sniffle. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and, and, and they, oh, wow. Yeah, I, that, that I, happens I, a lot. <laughs> I think my nose is running. I, I can't come in yeah. for a week. Yeah. You know. Uh, no, I could, I could put uh, on, we could put on our, you know, count the fingers of how many days we've had off in the last, you know, except if we took a vacation or something. Yeah, but, that's, but even then, we didn't take a vacation for like the first 12 years. Yeah. And, you know? and the most bizarre uh, reason uh, we, were, we were ever shared with why an individual didn't come to work was my parrot bit my finger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Would you believe that? And so when she came in finally three hours later, I said, well, let me look at your finger. And she said, oh, uh, it healed. I said, so why didn't you take the finger out of the mouth of the parrot? <laughs> Unbelievable. John and I just laughed. Of course, uh, that, that person did not last yeah. more than, you know, two seconds. <laughs> well, well, my yeah. grandmother died, and she dies every other month. Yeah, oh, yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Don't you love yeah. it? Hey, and hey, every hey, day hey. there's a traffic challenge, but get up earlier and, That's you know. That's it. you got to anticipate And then you get stuff. a call from, from an elderly person that says, is my nephew there? Yeah. And then we say, who, who are you? Well, that's my granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> and weren't they supposed to have passed yeah, away? Yeah, they were supposed to have passed away. Okay. So looking back, Sal, do you feel that it was worth it? Everything was worth it? Um, are you still having as much fun? Uh, yeah. Okay. It, it definitely was worth it. But the best time of my life was when I was retired for that one year. Uh -huh. mm. You know. I worked all of my life from when I was 13 years old, part-time, mm -hmm. you know, in New York for 70 cents an hour and mm -hmm. uh, just worked right up until I, I was 68 years old mm -hmm. and then I felt I'm going to retire. A and I retired for a year and Nathan Chesmore talked me out of retirement to go into the salon, salon business. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, he painted a great picture mm -hmm. of what a great business it's going mm -hmm. to be. And then I needed the mental stimulation. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to imagine. <laughs> yeah. So I says, well, it sounds good. <laughs> I'm going to make a lot of money. Okay. And uh, here I am today yeah. still doing it and yeah. still haven't missed a day at the office. Yeah, and still staying up at night counting still your money. Still staying <laughs> up at night counting your money. <laughs> I love and, it. Uh, I love but, it. But, you know, it, it, it's I make money not for what it could do for yeah. me. Thank it's you. what I can do for other people. That's Thank so you. true, That's isn't powerful. it? That's it's powerful. so true. 
you know, as a business owner, um, you know, we do, we, we feel, we are, and we feel responsible not only for the people who work with us, our employees, but also their families. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, you know, that's it. That's, you know, when you're looking at your expenses, I mean, you know, the average person would look at how much we spend in expenses every month and probably have a heart attack. Sure, <laughs> you know, exactly. You, you know, th that is, you know, a part of business. You've really got to be committed. Yes, yeah. you do. Yeah. And, uh, and success is just not money, as you said. Uh, true success is helping other people become successful. That's and, and, and that's where the, the, it's heartfelt. Right. And you can't buy that. No. And that's why we do this show. Mm -hmm. Because it's to help people, you know, understand that it's, a, it's, a, it's basic foundational principles. We all do it maybe differently, but it's still the foundational principles. And there's another quote that we, that we share in our, in our seminars and in our classes that when you Success is getting what you want, but happiness is wanting what you get. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's it. That's a tweetable comment. And, and I always say that money can't buy happiness. That's right. Thank so you. True. But if okay. you have enough of it, you can rent it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so, so. <laughs> what, 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 what's, what would you say to our viewers, your, your best advice on life itself? You know, they, they did a study. And they asked that question to Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn, Les Brown, uh, Dr. Dennis Wait Waitley. Mm -hmm. what, what, what advice can you give people? A and the advice that they all came up with the same thing, watch who you surround yourself oh, with. Oh, yeah. Mm. So true. Watch who you surround yourself. That's one of the reasons why I got out of New York is the environment that I was in. If I stayed there, I probably wouldn't be speaking to you today. Yeah. I'd probably be dead. Yeah. You know, yes. I, I, I wanted to get away from that environment, mm -hmm. come over here and, and find positive people mm -hmm. that can nourish my brain and mm -hmm. nourish my mind. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're, we're born to win and we learn to lose. Mm -hmm. The babies, so yeah. they're innocent, they can so do anything. Pure. They can speak any language. Yes. You can teach, I can't speak Chinese, mm -hmm. but if if I had a baby now mm -hmm. and it was my baby mm -hmm. and, and I spoke Chinese, that, that kid would speak Chinese. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, uh, you they're want like them, sponges. Yeah, they're yeah. sponges. You want them to speak Spanish? Yeah. The kid, the, their brains are like so fertile. Yeah. So it's real important what you say to children is, is going to have an effect on them for the rest of their life. So true. Because we also teach that behavior is taught. Yeah, it is. And that's, that's any kind of behavior, you know. There are people that would say that's not true, but if you look at life, as you said, a baby is taught to be negative. Yes, you're right. You know, they're winners from the beginning. And we are winners from the beginning. And, and but I also think that we need to, to say that even though someone might have been brought up in a negative environment, you still have the choice to be able to change your attitude and your environment. You can. Yes. You have the choice. It, it, it might be a difficult road, like every road is, but if you're committed, yes. you can do it. And there are people in your life that will help you if you just focus on what you want for your life. Because a lot of people don't even, aren't even clear about what they really want. They say, well, I want money. Well, that's not going to, that's, that, you know, they think that that's going to take care of everything, but money will not necessarily take care of everything. No. And people say, well, you have money, so, you know, it, uh, you, what, what would you say about that? And, you know, some of the happiest times John and I had was when we, when we were on the path to success. You yeah. know, enjoy the journey. That's yeah. what we always say. You know, if, you, if you're positive and you think positive and you, you're clear about what you want in your life, um, you don't even have to be real specific. As long as you're clear, I want a house. Where do you want the house? You know, do you want it on the ocean? Do you want it on the golf course? What do you want? And pretty soon things just start happening. And it's brought before you and you have that opportunity and you have a lot of fear and you go for it anyway. And that's it. <coughs> The mind. I, oh, I love. I love the way you think. Yeah. Okay. I do. You. You, you, you got it. Thank you. you because it. your mind doesn't differentiate between real and fantasy. Right. Uh, and we've all woken up in a in a cold sweat or, or had a, a chill because what we think, what we imagine, we can accomplish. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, Henry Ford said, 
whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, either way, you're right. Exactly. <laughs> it's all what you think. Exactly. Yes. One of the best movies that I've ever seen, and, and talking about kids that grow up in poverty, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think a teacher has a big effect. Oh, yes. like, 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 like you said, yeah. you know, uh, whether you're born and you're not in an environment of, of, of success, <coughs> somebody will influence you to either become a failure or, or, or become correct. a success. And the movie was Freedom Writers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, we saw that. Yeah. that yeah. movie? Oh, yes. That yeah, was so, incredible. She took kids mm -hmm. out of the ghetto yeah. and yes. turned them into going to college yes. and becoming successful. Yes. I mean, she was could. committed mm -hmm. to, to, so she, she, she was successful as a teacher. Mm -hmm. Wasn't even monetary success. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. success doesn't have to be measured by, by, by money, mm -hmm. you know. Just That's right. And, you, you know, happiness is very important, and money doesn't necessarily bring happiness. No, it doesn't. You know, okay. but, but having money does help you live a better life so that you do actually have more choices in life. That's, e that's exactly. a true statement. As Sal said, right. you could rent it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any, uh, is there a last, last minute phrase or something that you would like to say before we wrap it up? Uh, well, the, 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 the main thing is, you know, you got to get around the right p people. Okay. You know, re really important. And, and the greater the struggle, the greater the victory. Oh, All right. So that's and great. don't quit. Yeah. The people that make it are the yeah. people that don't quit. Yeah. All right. So Thank true. you so much, Sal. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Sal. Well, we're out of time. We'll have to wrap it up, unfortunately, because this is a great show. Thanks so much, Sal. Oh, it's been wonderful. I'm honored. Sal's, uh, words, Sal Sabero's words of wisdom with regards to keys to success can be found on Newman Consulting Services' website, <coughs> newmanconsultingservices.com, and our landing page, denelia.org. Thanks to you, our viewers and listeners, for tuning in. Thanks to our broadcast engineer, Zuri Bender, our floor manager, Rich Peruse, and to our executive director, Jay Fidel, who puts it all together. Thank you, Sal, again for joining us today. It was a great show. We're very appreciative that you came on the show. Oh, I'm honored. Okay. Thank Tech Keys to Success. We'll be back next Thursday at 11 a.m. So we ask that you tune in again and ask your friends and family to do so as well. I'm Danelia, <coughs> D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Today, as we leave you, we'd like to leave you with a quote from... Where, babe? Albert I Einstein. have no idea. Albert okay. Einstein. <laughs> Albert Einstein. And he said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Thank you. Thank you all. Aloha. Aloha.